Hello, good afternoon and welcome to the program moment. Coming to you from the House of Communication. Today, moment is out and about. Hmm. I have come to the office of the Anti-Corruption Commission boss, Ben Kelfala, to look at some of the news that are trending to see how much I can get the correct story from him. Fumble them. The man who I can talk to today at the program, and then at the studios, like I can say, this is not the house of communication. I can want to make the message each una all, everybody who would talk so you can understand the issue in a salon. With the Yegi, Bokusumusumuya, and there about the Auditor General's report. Today, I come for can find out exactly waiting they go on now the anti-corruption waiting at the stance where they don't take now which we got to this on audit report by the auditor general lara taylor pierce once again let me just welcome my guest francis ben kefala the man who is at the head <laughs> at the anti-corruption commission welcome to the program moment thank you very much Bill. it's always good to have you here Yes, it is good to have me here, but I've not been here for a quite a long time. Yes, it's been a while. We so have been very busy. How's work been going? Work has been going well. Um, we have been taking our responsibility seriously. And, uh, of course, a lot has happened between the time you were last here and now. A lot has happened, as you said, but we'll come to that. Let us look at what is trending today in Sierra Leone, mm -hmm. the Auditor General report. Yes. And how damning was it? Well, you see, Bill, uh, me, I see Auditor General reports as something which draws our attention to happenings in government. And I must make this clear. Auditor General's report all over the world are almost the same. There are always issues. There are always systemic issues. There are people who do not follow processes. There are people who do things wrongly. So it is not about how damning the Auditor General's report is. It is more about what can we do about it or what are we doing about what is contained in that report. Because everywhere in the world, um, the complaints are always the same and even the auditors themselves have the same complaint that when they put out these damning reports about countries and I'm telling you whether it's China, it's Kenya, it's Tanzania, it's Malawi, it's Kibar, if you take their reports, there will always be issues. So the question is what can we do about it? And what so are what doing? are you doing now? Of course we swung quickly into action. If you are following, you find out that for example the COVID report, we have almost completed looking into all the issues in that report. We arrested those who were said to have uh, the, the, the issue of whether laptops were meeting for seven laptops. Within two days, the laptops were with us here because we arrested them and said, you have to produce the laptops. Once they produce the laptop, we found out that the laptops were not according to the specification that they ought to have been contracted. We swung again to the action within a week. We were able to recover not just the laptop, but we also recovered from them in physical cash 254 million units, which we have put into account. That shows that strong action has been taken. And we have recommended to NACOVAC and the institutions where they work as well that they should take action against them. And this morning I was on the phone with Brigadier Kelly Conte and he was confirming to me that they were now taking a decision on them. So you see that we are not just sitting down here, even the generators. He said the generator was meeting. Not only did we investigate, we sent people to Zini where the generator was taken. We spoke to Chinese, we spoke to every party's concern, and we were able to confirm that no, on that one, there are issues about the KVA or no KVA of the generator, but the generator that was donated by the Chinese was the same generator that was taken to Zimi and installed in Zimi, and it has been in Zimi since, and it is a 65 KVA generator. On the vehicles, the SUVs, they said two vehicles were old, we are investigating and we are now in advanced stages of that investigation to hold those accountable for it. There are many other issues we are investigating. 
and that is for the COVID report 2020. There are about seven major issues in that report. About five of them have been completed and we are waiting to complete the two of them. The same thing for the 2019 audit report. If you are following, you will know that we did a press conference where we have identified all the issues in the report, called out the MDAs concerned and asked them to take steps now. Because starting next week, we are going to start acting robustly on them. And that would include invitations for people to explain, arrests where there are aggravating circumstances, detentions, and the hope is to prosecute and to recover money with no fear of favor. Therefore, it is very clear that more than ever before, we are ready to do things for the good of Sierra Leone. We are ready to act on the Treasury General's report, and we are not just making promises, we are already acting. We have recovered the laptops, we have recovered 254 million euros. The, the, the people who also bought the, the high end airports without going proper processes, the, the permanent secretary concerned, he paid the cost that was identified by the audit, 5.2 million euros cash to the ACC, and we have also recommended action against it. So you can see that before this was not happening in Syria, the generals was coming out to go to parliament, parliamentarians will do what they have to do with this, but the ACC was not doing anything about it. In fact, there was a time when the ACC's position was that they were mere opinions, but we are now saying no, they are not just mere opinions, they are facts that inform opinions, and those facts have to be acted upon, and we are actually doing a lot about it as I speak. As I speak to you right now, the team down, and doing everything they can to make sure that before the next report comes out, full action has been taken on all the issues in the Auditor General's report. Before the next report comes out, like you say, full actions are going to be taken. It is just not the Auditor General report that has been gaining um, uh, well, well, some currency um, in the media. There are some other areas. Have you looked into these areas? Well, all the areas that come to our attention, that there is information that we can act upon, is not just speculation. We cannot act on speculations. We cannot act on people's um, idiosyncrasies or feelings. But all the areas that we know that there is sufficient lead and evidence, we have acted on them, all of them. There is none we have not taken steps or action on. Well, it's good to hear this because the public, I think, will be very, very happy to know what you are saying now the actions you've taken because now let me talk on a crew for my brother and sister we are teach them we know they understand issue them and we then go give them their wrong issue and for me you take this time as well and tell them exactly what well i just they say i mean all these are general report don't come on all over the world every country malawi djibouti south africa tanzania morocco fiji australia Whenever all these general reports come up, bad, bad things they go did it with people in public office do. Okay? So, in Sierra Leone, we exaggerate the end the day. But the question about all these reports all over the world, not to really about what the inside it, now about what the country do about them, what they come up. And all over the world, most times, not much is done, particularly in Africa. But in Sierra Leone, this don't change. In Sierra Leone, we don't the swing immediately in the action. The Anti-Corruption Commission don't go after, for example, when they say for the seven laptop loss now, na Nakova, where they be fed COVID. We go there, we recover the 47 laptops within two days. Within three days, we recover 254 million news in addition to the laptop because they don't be there according to specification. That day they show the action don't be taken. When they say they buy things then for the minister, they're expensive, they are phone them. They don't go through proper process. We call the permanent secretary and tell her, say, we give you one day, tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Now, for come with the money in the ACC, or we take action against you. And indeed, and indeed, the money come. We don't pay them back to government. We then say generator loss. We find out, say, no, generator no loss. We go all the way to me for go look if generator did it. And who's got generator? We don't have the same generator the Chinese then donate. And everything consistent for show say indeed the Chinese with the generator with the Chinese they donate na in the Nazi. At least na that we your investigation established. On the general 2019 audit, we will not be done begin to action on it because now the December period this year come out, this thing come out on the 18th of December, but we don't act before January, we don't do a loss for recover. 
the vehicles there, we don't take steps against them, we they advance changes for complete that investigation. Now, the 2019 audit, if you the news yesterday, I'll be there on the press conference, we are clearly outlined what the ACC get for do with them starting next week. What is that the way you don't we they investigate? We they prosecute, we they recover the money then. We they hold anybody responsible without fear or favor. And I promise we will they make. Let the public hold we to run if we not do inside this year. So say are you no need for Sidon to cry about Auditor General's report. No, that's not the wrong approach. The right approach now waiting what they do about her. The public don't react very well at the anger at her when I not correct it. We already in institutions they already supposed to do something. They already do something. You know, can I tell you say we they do something in the future? I don't have line past six things so we don't do. We don't recover physical cash. We don't recover the property then. We don't identify the one they with it and we they continue for investigating. Now that is a responsible institution where they fight corruption they do. So Auditor General's report not the you know necessarily mean say we for begin to sit on the cry about her. But we they do sufficient action on her. And this what they do so that alone. No sign on in at the world right now with the bomb. So Sierra Leone is a shining example of a country where they take responsible action when issues they come up. Mr. Commissioner, then people that we find wanting, we involve and then kind of co-op practice here so. Waiting to happen to them, who side them they and I wanna get for treat them. First of all, we they go make sure say they're not in the position for repeating thing there. So the institutions they get for sack them. Okay? Then we don't send a file layer to the prosecution department now for review whether they conduct amount to criminal offense or no charge them to court. So that need to go on right now as we speak. Well, one thing people in Kenya ask again, say, you know, you saw the fed corruption when people them not for even thing for do things like this, then calm them down. How you feel? Very disappointing that people know they listen, but also you get for no say the corruption culture on a salon don't predate before me born. The country was built for several years, the wealth of people, a lot of people, there are many good people, but a lot of people they, uh, the money are based on dubious means. And the country itself they celebrate the one they would achieve. My churches, then they give them the front row in pews, and they give them the biggest respect, and then they, 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 they invite as patrons, distinguished grand chief patrons, they make them big donations, build big houses and mansions, whilst the rest of the population is suffer. So the corruption culture has alone done endemic for so long that I would lie to you if I feel say because me calm and the fed corruption this guy way, it will disappear immediately. So we just get for continue for do what you would do so consistently over a period of time, five, six, seven years, eight years, ten years. As we continue for fed corruption this way, people then begin to see the real result, like who they embarrass them, like who they disgrace them, who they put their name out, who they charge them to call the stand trial, they convict them. So man will they pull money in their hand so much that they pull and go back into society. Let society see what they happen to possibly corrupt. That man will be get big job before he can't and not get job pass away, they be get bigger for many gear money. Until we do this consistently for at least five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, the corruption culture will continue for day. But if we do this consistently over a period of time, people that they begin to substitute their old ways of doing dubious things to get money to good ways of doing things to get money. And then and then they call corruption change. Then the generation when they come back. They come understanding that corruption is no longer fashionable. Corruption is actually a dangerous thing. You could get real, real effect. Corruption don't become risky. It don't become expensive. And once it becomes risky and more expensive, fewer people then go engage in them. And that they will be that the beginning that they Australia alone in redemption and in positioning for be able to move forward without corruption destroying the fabric. In fighting corruption, like you say. For making or destroy the fabric of the society, you can always take into consideration, say, um, secret cows, them, or you go at everybody who involved in corruption. Now we go at everybody, particularly if evidence there. And I had a problem today because sometimes the public 
Few say the one they will corrupt now only the one they will they up there that the big man there they really go after big fish. Trust me, the corruption will destroy this country. Not to just the one they will they up here now. Then get some man we sit down at the quay office on ten o'clock. So ten are just serving the officer. So ten are somebody no more will take decisions that prepare people there. They were already the thief past Santibokia. I know they say the big one they up here and I know they do one. But what you will do now in the fight against corruption and why will they be very, very effective and they succeed that what you will do is that we don't allow the person to distract you. They point to the big one that they will allow the Arata them for damage the country. We will go after the all from the big one to the last one at the same time. And that the only way that they will, will create a system in the country we go allow the country for thrive, for move forward, for develop, for progress. And that they will do. So we're not going to say critical for answering your question directly. So then I got to tell you the talk about now. When I don't see them all over. Boku, yeah. but you know they're ready. 26.8 billion. Now we don't pull the people their hand physically and give back to government. 26.8 billion, sir. We you count one, one, one million, you hundred. Hmm? Now they make hundred million. We you count hundred million, you times ten. Now they make one billion. 26.8 of hundred billion. Even difficult for explain to the people. If now money will pack for many public see, if we pack them before lock up building, somebody will then na na continue going to see the other possibility map by bank possibility. Mm -hmm. Then money there ah now from Santi Bukia they will pull up. Not to carry like money. Now people they will the thief will they come we'll say now you now you thief you count and back and count. We don't get over thirty six convictions now court. Of people there, in all levels, from the military to the police to ministers, former ministers, deputy ministers to directors, all kind of motor man who don't prosecute and catch them. And right now, if you're going to court to get past 40 cases in the court, that not include the appeals there. All the one that did a thief man them, all the one they who believes in a thief man them, and they will go after. And they come out from all spheres of life, corruption, no tribe, no religion, no religion. Now, when you hold them, and they begin to talk, say, me, I'm a demon. But they tell me, be the thief, not to hear me, they put it in the shape. When you hold them, say, me, I'm a team, the man, or me, I'm a limba man, or me, I'm a susuma. But when they do the thief, that's for me, I'm a family. So, when it comes to Arata, we don't hold more Arata now. We don't pull the food, we don't make them vomit, do it, they eat. More now than ever. In fact, which we don't recover in this short period, we are done there. Two years, just over two years. It passed all the way that we don't recover for 18 years before we come. So, them people here, so then Agatha, then Santi Wokiat, with the talk about so. When they name them and shame them? Bill, with the name and shame all of them. Every press release, the pool get the names of the people there. Who public relations people that they go on the radio and television and call them in them. All man know the people they hold the deal with. Nobody know they hold the hide now. The only one who don't name that they want for Nakovac because then they fed COVID right now. We don't want to name then journalists them, all man for don't find them at the time when they but don't do letter to Kelly. Bring their Kelly content for inform and say they were you get for take action about them. Once they don't take the action, they don't pull it, they don't replace them so that COVID don't go can't kill you all. They will go pull the name them out. Mr. Commissioner, as you say earlier in the interview, Sierra Leone, we they celebrate Tiff Mandem. People have to compromise their integrity so much. How you go try for talk to them for make them navigate themselves out of Well they can understand say who fed corruption at their own benefit. No road no in a salon when they put they say and only SLPP the past now. No road, not the way they make Nasarone, they say, you're not only APC, they pass now. No hospital, not the way they build with the can of money, they say, wait now, you tribe. If you know other tribe, they say, you know, they enter now, I admit. No school, not the way they talk, say, that one green tribe, no more, they enter inside the school. Or you for come out from a particular region before you enter the. No market, not the way they say, that one tribe for sale, other tribe not for sale. If we fight corruption, reduce corruption, and they will provide all entity they are for war. And for we benefit. And for we benefit. And for other person, we benefit. 
So the fight against corruption are the most important thing when they have on us right now. And it behoves everybody for understand this. For no say, nobody know the way that they ask questions because of the tribal way they speak. All my way they can, I had the 26.8 billion years old on pool and the hand cash. Not so good. Now they come and say, yes, I agree with Chief because we don't show them the evidence now. And vomit them. So we call on the people of Sierra Leone for support. This is not about politics. Not to about tribe, not to about region, not to about outside of We all for focus for ensure say salon better. And they want the way they work for achieve that. The people of Sierra Leone are supposed to join me and support me. And if any side they will be put there for support right now, for change the story of Sierra Leone, that this threat will be fed against corruption. But if you don't get result at the end of the day, this go demoralize your spirit? Well, as a leader, uh, you get to understand. What thing me they do now, you're not incumbent about waiting the public do. Okay? I need the public for the BNB. But trust me, me, I believe in result. I mean, from where I can, I have result. Every, every statistics they show say we do very well. International indexes. They were they would look to country and the time waiting they happen about corruption in the country. Then they show see with the score high high mark the way before night don't end will be there. When you go to court, will they get convictions then? Higher than ever before. High rate. When you talk about recovery, assets then. We don't just recover money, we don't recover properties, houses, hotels, we don't give back to government. Motor car then. We don't give back to government. Okay? Where all these reports come out before nothing will be they do. Now, we they act on us so strongly that within two weeks we don't solve a lot of issues there. We don't even go fight it. That is our result. And I believe say with that kind of result that they are with the people that they see and hearing for themselves. I don't think say really posting here for reminders say they need for believing what you do. But again, if they don't believe, we the public servants and I for do waiting good for the public. We will continue for Mr. Commissioner, from what you they say, it looks like for say your job, not to something enviable. Uh, well, yes, you can say that. It's not, it's not enviable at all. But then uh, somebody get for one. And we don't agree with the team at the ACC for take up that challenge for the people of Sierra Leone. You, the man, will get a family. Are you family, your wife? One or two can sit down the talk with the Yegi, all this news them when they go around. Not afraid. My mother afraid. My family afraid. People that they fear for me picking their life. People that they fear for me saving your life. But like I said, somebody get for God. And uh, we left unto God. Uh, me no say what you are to do now, your holy cause. Whether not the Quran or the Bible, corruption content. Was in a bad thing. And not to God says again for calm down for do things for me. They get for use people again for do things. And I believe say what they do now, I don't get any bad for anybody. And they do it because of any particular reason. I work for better salary. So they in fear. But um, the work has to be done. And the people of the really don't suffer for too long. For make afraid now. So they move on forward without fear or favor. We they move Salon forward according to the uh, com according to Commissioner Ben Kelfala without fear and favor. But now we they take a break in the program moment. And when we come back, we they can look at the road uh, of the year 2020 in the anti corruption, which in the challenges them, the hiccups them, we then go through. We'll take a break and we'll come right back.
Welcome to the second segment of the program Moment, broadcast on Star Television, the house of communication. My guest on the program today, of course, you no need introduction so much, because he named it all over the place. And he talked about the man who had the interview, and who have done the see, the anti-corruption commissioner boss, Francis. Ben Kelfala. We don't look at some of the things them we at least the country worry about and how anti -com anti corruption commission don't step in for fine results. But let me remember say now anti corruption before all the entire campus the year twenty twenty they mean they still fine, then get them hiccup, then get them challenges. So let me take some more time now we we'll look at the year 2020, waiting at the hiccup and the challenges where the anti-corruption go through. Well, 2020 now the year of COVID as we all know. Um, now the year where coronavirus slowed down the rest of the world and we say the impact we because for example our court cause them to get for law for a little while and the uh, cases no longer they move as fast as they can. We say have not be able to go up country for doing investigations. In fact, we stop all movement of personnel during that period, not just because of the lockdown, but because of the fear say they will be affected. But beyond that, we always get the usual uh, difficulties, challenges, personnel, how many people that we get, uh, with the kind volume of corruption within the country. We only get about 200 staff. Uh, money, uh, the amount of money we need for we able to really fit, buy a motor car, buy computers, get a decent space for do work, air conditioners, fans, chairs, tables, desks, uh, logistics. Really, really, the money not there. Uh, not because they no one give you, but because generally the country not get enough money for take care of all anything, and they all do. We they get the money, we they keep we going, and we they maximize, we they do what you were able to do in the circumstances. So, so what is that they have to do building now? We they talk about them kind of thing. Uh, no, the building will not roof up, will not roof up. The building they are finishing. Uh, we they ask the government for give we the last tranche of money, but one more tranche of money, about two billion, for me to pay the contractors, then for me they will move forward now to finish it for fixed doors, windows, painting, and things like that. Uh, from December, we do not stand by the wait for them. But uh, they don't assure me say they will do this January. I will wait. Uh, the contractors they already write to me. Uh, but they uh, like can say monkey one box by hand shot. But we rely on other people for help with box as well to make we able to get the money for able to work. Because the money they will recover, we for not able to use them for do this. But we don't want to do that. We want to do recover on behalf of people as well. We give them back. So we want them build hospital. We want them build schools. We want them make roads. We don't use them for build anti-corruption house only. So, and only put you in this kind of position, but things are moving, uh, they build in the fire. So that are the challenges. But trust me, 2020 was also a great year for the fight against corruption. In fact, not the greatest year in the fight against corruption. And I'll give you why. All the global index system, we score points them in 2020 more than ever Salvador ever score. Okay? Remember, say 2020, 2017, the MCC control of corruption, Will be there forty nine percent will be a failure because anything below fifty percent will fail. In twenty twenty, we did eighty one percent. Okay, mm -hmm. that means they will move by over thirty percent. The same thing for Afro barometer. They confirm say corruption prevalence in twenty seventeen was seventy percent. That means say seventy percent of corruption that they happen in this country. Now only thirty percent not be corrupt. Now, Afro Barometer confirms that corruption don't reduce from 70% to 40%. So now we get 60% clean environment for corruption. And not only they say, oh, these are people that we get expertise, we know. When they look at it, they can't can measure. In 2020, we're able to achieve that. All indexes across the world confirm this. We also move 10 places in the Transparency International Index. And the highest point ever, hold up score. 
when it comes to corruption measurement. Uh, we also recover, as you know, every year we can give check to the president. This year we give the highest money to president. 2020 we give the highest money to the president. 8 billion years now we give president. Before now 7.5, we give 7.5. But in 2020, when the whole world thinks difficult, other people that they get challenges and they get excuses, we produce better than ever before. The only side where we work affected in the court, we know we get the same number of convictions that we get before. Because, like I tell you, COVID hit the justice delivery system hard. But even in Andersev, um we hardly lost case. I don't remember saying we lost more than one case. But we win more than nine cases. Which is really encouraging, and the other cases and the ongoing. Uh, the judiciary, they give their support as they can, and they do very well. And we'll see what they have for the country. So, Bill, amidst all the problems, trust me, the fight against corruption now, they in a better position. Or even, no other time, not even come as close as to Usa Ude now. And this is good news for Sierra Leone. It don't restore respect that the global community. It don't make confidence in the system. And of course, don't forget, this is not the year we win the MCC. The MCC is a multi-million dollar grant. Now, give them give you money free. They say we identify now electricity. We get problem with. We they give now. We give now. Money, other countries don't get 600 million, some countries don't get 300 million dollars, some countries don't get 400 million dollars, some countries don't get 500 million dollars. We didn't expect say we didn't even get more than 700 million dollars this year, but they're not determining it. But imagine this federal would vet against corruption. If you able to benefit with that way, you wake up one morning in Sierra Leone from the small village to the small town, get water and electricity because we didn't fight corruption. Grant money we didn't give, we don't get no condition. And the benefit than this, when you do the right thing and you do it consistently. And the reason why all the good there they happen for Sierra Leone right now is because for the past three years, we not just they perform very well every year with the hard on top. We come up from 49%, we go in 2018, we go 71%. In 2019, we go 79%. In 2020, we go 81%. I think, say, we deserve for clap for yourself for this as a country. So how did you do it? How you do one? <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest with you, not to me one do one. Okay? This now the result of concerted efforts. My people, look, God says no, they can't do for change countries. Jesus, God, will be one change Israel, he sent Jesus Christ for come. So people have to take their own destinies and do something about it. So the president will get support the fight against corruption. He sent me there for can lead the fight against corruption and give me the support he's supposed to give me. Me myself come, I recruit the people they want to meet in the commission for giving me the support and they all react. They only do what they're supposed to do because they believe in the vision. They know say they know me at. They know exactly what they want. So we say. If person do this on a whole in fact, 11 and a phone number they call and they do and they know they even ask questions. Some day they work like at 11 o'clock at night. This Christmas, because all these reports come on, we will not get Christmas. We work now through other holiday period. Up to now, we will not rest it. The country itself, well meaning Sierra Leoneans, they don't buy into what they do and they support. The government said, but good people, the way they did, they know the way to make them come for can ask them, say, you get for do things about corruption. NRA, for example, they get one whole anti corruption unit now that NRA, where they help them for reduce corruption. We get integrity management committees, we constitute the public servants themselves, where they do things for minimize corruption. So, really, what you would see, although the president, me, would they give the leadership for make this happen, members of the government, they give the leadership for make this happen. But not really a concerted effort of everybody, including the hardworking men and women of the ACC, who they produce the result there for the country. It's not easy at all from what you will say. You see, from make you get the staff on the camp, on they put so much effort. You feel to say, you, this juncture, you can make an appeal 
to Sierra Leoneans because make them change their mindset today. Make them left for celebrate thief them at the country. Well, me, what thing I don't do for Sierra Leone, what thing we don't do for Sierra Leone. Now for bring to their attention, for connect and plight to the fight against corruption. For many understand for fight corruption, not so educated people they no more where they run after themselves. You get a direct link with it. If you begin not able to go to good school, if money not in your pocket, if things are expensive at the market, if money not in the bank, if you know they get better pay, if you never able to get home to say for sleep, if you landlord they increase rent all the time by you. And because of corruption, because if corruption all day, this country are blessed and rich. We get sufficient resources for we are able to make sure say it go around. And we able to provide anything that we call public good. That thing that we don't need for do nothing. For example, whether they make road, nobody they can go say we put too small money that we make up. Government they make up. But because enough money there at the basket, for many pay workman them, for many able to buy the assets them, for many build offices, for many able to run them every month and every year, and some left for many build roads and schools and hospitals. So the fight against corruption gets something for doing with you. You plight as a citizen, if you wake up hungry, you don't get food for it. Corruption get for do something. And what you don't do now for connect the citizen in flight in plight with the corruption within the country and for show them say all is not lost. Something can be done about it. So how and do we do that? we they do something about that. 96% of the population say they don't hear about the fight against corruption and waiting at the corruption they do. Then I survey we PFM consortium do last year. Every village, town, every household, every community don't get the message. We don't preach the message of corruption right across the country. Later this month, and they go to them place then the way people they don't ever go before them fall about bonds. Quendu. Towns there where people are not going, Mr. Seb, they go there physically. And they sit on a boat crown at the Bont Island for take the message of corruption to them. And they go from Quendu to Quenadugu for send the message. And without me, we public education people they don't do that. Nobody not in us alone today we go talk to about anti corruption. We don't know what. Even this morning speaking. No, as long as it don't make any guesses. Corruption now, one of the good things that that they will not do, but beyond doing the good, good thing, would also show them say all is not lost, something can be done about it. We don't show the result, they all they read the kind of respect we salon don't get from the president to the least man proud for this reunion today. When you go out there, they read people that they tell me say that they go meetings that they sit over there, they talk about the good things about salon, the kind of good name we don't get as a country because of the effect of this corruption. They say they hear the rise. All over the world, people they sing Salon the Good Name. As a country, we decide say enough is enough. We have to do something about it. Now I may go in to talk about all these reports. <laughs> all these reports. <laughs> For all these reports, but not in anything. Now the waiting we do about her. And we they show everybody say we'll continue to do something about her. So really, Bill. Um we are not out of the woods, we still have a lot to do, but trust me, we are better than we have ever been before when it comes to the fight against corruption. So waiting that a good bath for 2021. 2021 and a year of complete zero tolerance. Last year there was zero tolerance, but now there complete zero tolerance for corruption. Not to because you did that the current government means that you for corrupt. If you corrupt, would they identify you? Would they name you? Would they shame you? Would they prosecute you? Would they pull money in your hand? Would they make you lost respect for society? The president committed to this. Before the end of the year, may I ain't get the end of year conversation? He tell me, say, Ben, go ahead. You have my support. As a country, we have to move forward. We cannot continue the past to hold, letting the past to hold us. With that kind of commitment day from the president of Sierra Leone to me. Emmy Orman know already said me, I don't afraid of 
Now God no more afraid. And I believe that God gave me back. When people deny her, they don't afraid because they don't say me said they support them and God said they be in there. Now holy war with the power. Now holy war for the soul of Sierra Leone. The Bible and the Quran condemn, condemn corruption. We are ready for sacrifice of nation to see this country change. And with the support of His Excellency, the President, Brigadier, and higher Dr. Julius Magabio, we continue to do this more than ever before. One question I'm going to ask you because now this thing asks now them offices then we then can talk about he who pays the piper calls the tune. This is the show, it affects your work. No, me now the people of Sierra Leone they pay me. The one they will open now the people of Sierra Leone they pay now taxpayers' money and they take care of me. So nobody know the way they pay the piper. Yeah, pass the people. So within the people and the dictator that will continue for fair corruption and they clap here and stand it way. So yes, there are people who are paying the piper, but there are the people who are suffering. There are people who have suffered from corruption for generations. And there are the people we are looking to save from the scourge of corruption. So that they begin and get good education. So that they go get good roads, they'll get good hospitals. Money will be around for which they pocket. That one person over abusing position and live in mansions, why the masses suffer. Not get me wrong, I believe in honest labor. If you work honestly, you get money for Bill Mansion, why not pull it all inside and sleep with ACs blowing you? But not thief. If you do if you do it, will it come to you? Mr. Commissioner, will it come to the end of the interview? Yes, sir. I want to get the last word where you could part company with the one, the one that would watch the program right now. Well, I want to let the people in Australia learn for understand, say, what you will do here and I sacrifice. We know they say corruption, nobody at all. What you will say now that we do something about her in such a way that it not destroy the country like I did before. We they make sure, say, we hold the one then, we stand before the destiny of this country. If they give you money for care good drugs in the hospital, let the drugs be bought and taken to the hospital. If they give you money for build road, you build the road. If they send a bridge for building, you build the bridge. In a school, you build the schools. If not for pay teachers, the teachers are paid. If not for pay public servants, they receive them. We they make sure say one person not take the money then they it's an ego food. But we need their support. Not to easy work. If you look me, sometimes I only sleep for days, for weeks, just walking or makes alone change. So if we don't get any support with we, if they decide with the one they the thief because of tribe, because of region, because then they get a young benefit, then then self complicit. Then self get a role for play for the suffer when they suffer. But if they stand with we and support we together, we and them, will they change the story of Sierra Leone. And if even they're not benefit on today, they be on picking them and grab picking them will benefit them. But what will they do right now so effective that they did begin benefit them now? They will all just believe and continue for act. I like your last word, continue for art. And via them, I think to say that so we go close the program with the anti corruption commissioner boss, Francis Ben Kelfala. We at least will not be the watch and they listen to the messages them in contribution where they give to Una about corruption, not the content. Salon, not to one man get them. Na me and you get them. If we change we mindset, we join for faith corruption, it will help you a lot instead of we celebrate people them, we take the country money, 
they do something else with them where they make the country they go backward. On that note, viewers, I want to say thank you to my guest, Francis Ben Kefala, head of the Anti-Corruption Commission Office in Sierra Leone. Thank you, Bill, from the depth of my heart. I am grateful to you for always your wonderful, your wonderful interviews. For help with for sending a message to the people that let them understand. And I'm happy and grateful to the people of Sierra Leone as well for the time for listening to me. For let them understand, say, the fight against corruption not to one man first. I will all get up. And they get a role for play. And let them help me. Perfect. The word patriotism don't come inside. Now this I can always think of. When you go sleep so today you watch the program, think Sierra Leone. When you wake up in the morning, think Sierra Leone. When you decide for take your lunch, think Sierra Leone and see how salon will go, how we go make them. For we picking them, we don't even burn it. So when they come, they will meet everything they in place. One for Teluna, thank you. We're going to watch the program. And I want to say, this is where I drop the curtain on moment for today. I hope you enjoy the program. I'll be back with the program on mm -hmm, when? Thursday. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>